The Acropolis Rally is the toughest endurance event of the WRC. It's so warm and just the temperature, it's really hard for the, for the car, for the engine, gearboxes, drivers and tyres. It's a long rally, tough three days. Yeah, it's always pushing, pushing. The Acropolis Rally is now the, the most difficult and toughest round in the World Rally Championship. We've got a fantastic record here. Uh, we've won five times in the last seven years. Not all of us drive rally cars, but we do all want our cars to perform to their best. But does the fuel you use make a difference? Whether you're driving a performance car or an ordinary family saloon, how important is it to choose the right fuel? Well, we've come up with three cunning tests to find out if premium fuels like BP Ultimate do make any difference. We've got two identical looking cars, identical on the outside, identical on the inside. Now, the only visible difference is this car's got a BP number plate, whereas this one is marked up as ordinary. Now, to add a touch of mystery to the test, we won't know which is which. All we do know is both cars have been filled with six litres of fuel. And we're going to drive them until they run dry, see which one stops first. Let's get those number plates off. Now it's time to choose our cars and our drivers. Now I'm a much better driver than his. So to make sure the driving skills are evened up, we've invited two of the world's greatest drivers. You saw them in action earlier. It's only BP Ultimate Ford World Rally Championship drivers, Marcus Gronholm and Mika Hervenen. Marcus, you're with me. You've been a world champion a few times, you know. And Mikko, you're with me. Future world champion. So our two teams have identical cars, but they don't know which fuel is in which. It's Marcus and Ewan to go first, and remember there are only six litres of fuel in both these cars. The petrol light is on already, <laughs> so that's not a good sign. Nico and Neil start 30 seconds later. Both these rally drivers are used to maximum attack, but today they're going to have to drive like grannies. Mikko says, Marcus, the throttle's the one on the right-hand side. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have heard it, yes. Just to remind you, both drivers have to keep a steady distance apart so nobody benefits from a slipstream, and they need to keep to the same driving line around the track and the same speed for it to be a fair test. Come on, BP Ultimate. Let it be inside this car. So why might the BP Ultimate car win this endurance challenge? Fuel expert Paul Beckwith explains. There are three reasons why BP Ultimate can give better fuel efficiency compared to ordinary unleaded petrol. The first is that it has a higher octane number, and higher octane can lead to better engine efficiency. The second reason is that it can clean your engine, and a clean engine can be more efficient than a dirty engine. Thirdly, it contains a friction reducing component. There are a significant amount of frictional losses in every engine, so we formulated BP Ultimate to reduce friction to help make the engine more efficient. An engine running on ordinary unleaded gets only a small amount of lubricant to the top of the cylinder where combustion takes place. This may seem unusual, but it's normal in most cars in order to control oil consumption and emissions. With Ultima Unleaded, we've developed a way to reduce resistance between the piston rings and the cylinder walls by introducing friction reducing components into the fuel. So when BP Ultima enters the combustion chamber, it actually delivers these components directly onto the upper part of the cylinder. These friction reducing molecules in our fuel condense on the surface of the cylinder wall, creating a layer which helps the piston to move more easily. This layer is renewed each time a fresh air-fuel mixture is drawn into the cylinder. With less friction, more of the fuel energy is converted into power at the wheels. As much as the guys are trying to match speeds and lines, this isn't a scientifically controlled test. Even so, BP Ultimate should have the advantage. We're 30 minutes in, and still no signs of the six litres running out. You have to excuse me, Nico. I always fall asleep on long journeys. Maybe we should play I Spy. You know that game? No. Both cars have been driving for almost an hour now. It seems to be going on and on. But, hang on a minute, Marcus and Ewan could be in trouble here. No, it's finished. Whoa, Neil, Neil, Neil. I swear we're starting to splatter a bit. <laughs> we're on a, a slippery road to, uh, to death. We're proper, proper yeah, lock of damage gone. Uh, we have visual contact. Permission to pass? Permission granted. Sweet victory for Miko and Neil. All that remains to be seen is how many more laps this car will go. That's it. Well, that's it. 
No, it's happening. No, no, it's okay. Six and a half laps of this point eight of a mile long track. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah! Yeah! yeah Woohoo! Come on! Well done, Mikko. Thank you. It's great. Slow and steady. Yeah, slow and steady. Still win when you're not flat out. No, no, definitely near than this time. What's that coming over the hill? Is it a loser? No, we can just wait here and there. Come on. Some what happened? Bad. Believe it. You gave us a royal spanking then. You certainly did. How many laps was that? Six and a half more laps. Oh, I counted then, five times and I fell asleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, um, it must prove that we had the BPL. You must have told me you have got that. Well, point. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's have a look. Oh. Yes! I knew it. One well, nil. Well, I think we've got it sewn up. We might as well call it's it quits there. It's early days, mate. Early days. No, we're coming back, won. aren't we? Yes, coming back absolutely. Strong. Well, with this driver. Oh, it's a long way.